Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be making some delicious sponge toffee. So this is my very first time ever making sponge toffee and also a baking video. So I hope you guys enjoy it and um, make sure to please subscribe. So I'm gonna just t t say this right now. There's a big warning in this because this can reach up to 310 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 150 degrees Celsius. I'll probably tell you how to do the math for that later. But anyway, you're also going to want to re need a want to pair it. Anyway, so I've already added the mixture. You're going to want to have one cup of water, and you're going to want three and a half cups of sugar. I've already added in the mixture right here, but there's one key thing that I did not add, and that is corn syrup. So you, you of this corn syrup, you want to have one and a half cups of it. So I'm going to just kind of go ahead and pour this in there. It is so thick. I'm not very good at scooping it out though. Yeah, I'm probably the worst <coughs> scooper. And there. So after that, you would, you want to turn your oven or your stove top on high, so as high as it can get, and then just leave it. And this will take a long time. So we've had this um, mixture in for about three, four minutes right now, and um, it's starting to boil already, as you can see right in that corner over there. And, um, I, I thought that it was going to take a lot longer than that, but apparently not. So, it's, after it starts to boil a bit more, I'll uh, show you guys another picture, and then we'll pour it into here. So this right here, what I have in my hands, it's called a candy thermometer. I don't, well, obviously it's a candy, called a candy thermometer because it tells you how hot your candy is getting, or in this case, your sponge toffee. So, I'm gonna place this in here and see how hot it gets too. Yeah, that's rising quick. So it's about, so our goal is to get it to 284 degrees Celsius, or Fahrenheit. It is definitely raising. It's about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we'll probably check back when it's uh, gotten hotter. Stay tuned. So it's been a bit now, not too long, and look at the difference. It does not take very long to do this. So I'm going to stick this in again and see how hot it is. It's still rising. It's almost at two. So right where it says the soft ball, is that right? Mm -hmm. Then we should be... Or no, soft crack. We should be good. For some reason, it's taking longer than I thought. I mean, it didn't take long for it to boil, but it's taken a little bit for it to reach that point. It isn't even at 220 yet. It's getting there.
So this mixture that we have right here of, well, I'm not going to name it. We're going to add some uh, honey now. So we're going to add just a bit, not too much. And... That should do it. So after you add the honey, you're going to want to stir it a bit and then wait till it hits 300. So what the honey does is it gives it a nice honey flavor. Well, we've been letting it sit, and now that it is at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, we are going to add our five teaspoons. Or first, we're going to turn it off. Then after that, we're going to add, we have five teaspoons of baking soda, and we have half a teaspoon of cream and tartar. So we're just going to grab a sifter and sift some of that through. Now, care, be very careful because it does get very, like, so we're going to put a pour all that through in there. We're just going to like that. Make sure that's all gone. Okay. Here we go. Now we're going to take this and mix it quickly. For this stuff will, the reaction that it will get will make this stuff just absolutely swell up. Like, like, look at that. It's already done all that. Now this is our first time making it, and it's actually doing quite well. It's getting, it's, it is definitely rising up. So I'm not I'm not pouring this in. <laughs> I need help. That's why you need an adult, kids. Okay, we're gonna put it in. Do you notice how much that is rise? It is almost overflowing this whole pot. Mom, you're gonna need to hurry. It is getting so high. It used to be like down to there. Where's my finger? Down to there. Oh man, it's almost overflowing it. Here you're gonna wanna pour that all in. Oh. Oh boy. Uh oh. That's getting, that's getting full. Oh boy. That looks so good. This smell is amazing. So if you guys are wondering where we got this recipe from, we got it from Anna Olson. Olson, yeah, Anna Olson. <laughs> Why does it look like mac and cheese? <laughs> But be careful because this is so hot. It's still rising. It's ridiculous. Are we going to scrape out that moment? It's fine. Okay. Well, this stuff takes like, I heard, three hours or more just for it to go all the way down. Just, this is ridiculous. So I'll probably see you guys in like three to four hours if this thing doesn't overflow. Like that, like, look at that. That's ridiculous. Well, check in uh, after three hours is done and I hope it doesn't overflow. So it's been about two and a half hours, I'd say. And um, it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to take it out. Now I've noticed there's a hole right there and I've don't worry, my fingers are clean. And I've checked to see if it's any squishy, and it is, but so I'm a bit nervous. Now, this is our very first time making this sponge toppy. I'm not sure how this is going to work very well. Wait. So I think I'll just, my hands are getting so dirty. I'll just like try and pull it out. Yeah, it's not working. We probably should have put butter on the sides. Um, like it's, it's like, it's not even five pounds. It smells awesome though. Like, listen to how solid that is. Like, so we worked at it a bit and um, I think we got it. 
We have not taken it out yet, though. Three. Go. Oh! There it is. Oh, that is like there's. Look at that beauty. I'm gonna call this guy Cavities. So, it said you want to uh, do it by just picking it up. It, I, is it okay if we do it on the charcuterie board? Mm. So they say pick it up and then just like slam it. And oh, <laughs> that is golden! Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh man. Oh yes. That. Woohoo! So here we have it. Now, when we first cracked it, I was very nervous to see what it would look like. Now, it looks like gold. Like. The honeycomb, it looks beautiful. So I'm just gonna put some of this on the plate here. For just uh, some show. Like that. And then I'll take a little piece and do a little crunch. But after like a couple of bites, the smaller the piece is, the more it turns into toffee. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, stay tuned for the next one.